Hello everyone, Manithrall here, and welcome to a little bit of a tutorial on fish, well, fish flingers. Now this is the fishing minigame kind of thing. Uh, you can only do it so many times per day. Uh, you can get more tickets as you're fishing along. So that is one thing, just, you know, keep track, you know, watch, you know, the dialogue and the, your chat. Uh, it will alert you. Now, I know some people are like, well, you already did this video. I don't feel like it was up to good quality standards. So I'm actually going to be making a this video here. So whenever you do get here, you want to get your hint from the fisherman. Now, for here, I have drift herring at the docks. They're particularly known to like the green uh, fluttering creatures. So that's my hint. <clears throat> now there is a chat it's called I believe to fling fish if you join them they will they I believe it's a French chat they will allow you to join uh, it's just that their only requirement is if you do join and you are playing you have to call out in the French chat only about the different tackles that's their only stipulation which is actually very nice because you'll be able to go to fishing location to fishing location somebody already has it you'll be able to get that uh, tackle combo that you need so I'm already set I have some of the stuff already I have the full fishing outfit which is one of the benefits from doing this because you can claim rewards you can get the fishing outfit you can get the extras which is different fish you can get tickets to you know be able to come back in here again which only takes the tokens and there's an effect where you can fish an extra fish for the next 20 minutes, which is also only 100 tokens. But there's also the tackle box, and you can actually reset it, or reset your daily teleports. But now the tackle box also requires a certain amount of metals, too. Okay, so now as I'm going over here, this is what I like to do. I know some people might not like it. But I already know one of the things. So I'm at 50% with this hook. Now see, I changed the hook and went down. So odds are this is the right hook. They like the green fluttering, which I didn't realize it. They're actually talking about the moth. Now since three is in the middle, it's not going to be quite far enough and it's not close enough. So five was actually the correct number. So it was very easy for me to figure that one out. Now thankfully I'm the one at the docks to start out. So that means the big fish, very good thing to actually assist people with. Try to get all your assists. It'll actually help boost your amount of medals you get and your overall XP you get. So it's very worth it, especially if you're in the beginning area like this and you're with, you're with the big group. Because if you're with a big group, and if you get a big fish, it'll have people more inclined to help you out. See right there, I just caught my big fish, and it was very easy for me to do so, mostly because other people were helping out. But this is really all it is. You just got to pay attention, try to get your full amount of assists, try to get all the tackles you can. Try to get your big fish too. And it's looking like this one only has the herring. Unless, you know, some people have fish, the other tackle, and it's, you know, already caught, you know, and they didn't get the big fish in that direction. But you also get stuff for the biggest fish, the most fish, you know, different types of things as you're going through. <clears throat> now as you see, a lot of the group is starting to actually get divided. Now you'll see here, this person actually just gave me a hint, whether they liked it or not, they gave me a hint. <clears throat> so there is cod at the docks. So now I gotta find the right tackle because I'm not in the fish fling group 
So it's probably either bone or wood from the looks of it. It's the wood one. And I'm still kind of far from actually getting the right tackle. So I probably shouldn't have picked... Well, actually, I guess that did work out pretty nicely. I'm a little bit far yet from actually getting what I need. So 83, it's probably the Gray Moth, which this will probably get me the 100%. Now, since everybody else has moved on, it'd be a good idea for me to do so. Well, this person needs help, so what I want to do, because I still get rewarded for helping him, even though I already have my full mount. So I have the two, two tackles from there. Now I want to try to get the other tackles. Of course, if you're in a group, like I said before, it helps out dramatically. Now there's two tackles here. There's the bass and the trout. So that's something I actually have to try to keep in mind. It's going to make it kind of hard to actually do. So I know the food is already not gray, it's not red, so that means it's either going to be green, which actually kind of dropped it down a little bit. So I'm not quite where I need to be. It looks like they might only be at two. And it's looking like it might be a type of shrimp. Yep, it is the shrimp. So, now I gotta find the bass. The bass seems to be pretty close too, but since the trout was already there, I gotta try to find the bass. And it doesn't look like people are actually calling it out in regular chat. So it's gonna be kinda of hard to actually find it. Somebody needs help. It's always good to help somebody just in case, like I said, just in case you need it. People are more prone to help you if you help them. Now you don't want to spend and sacrifice all your time helping other people, but it's a good idea. <clears throat> so I'm back on the bass again, and it's looking like I'm getting kind of close. It's either the grayish, or well, like the Kind of a funky color if you ask me. Alright, so we're getting very close. We're at 66. We'll drop it down from 4 to 3. We'll see if that changes anything. If it does, that's good news for me. It did. Now I just got to get the right hook. So odds are I have the wrong hook. There we go. I got the next one. Now, by doing this method, I won't catch the most fish. However, now I also know there's only two more tackles and there's only two more locations. So now I don't have to worry as much about... Okay, there I have the right tackle. It looked like they were catching it kind of far away, so it's going to be probably four or five as far as distance goes. Since it didn't change, it's definitely a five. And since this is kind of high, it has to either be the regular worm or the cricket. Because there's two similarities, either the type of food. Ooh, ooh, I'm wrong. So maybe the hook is wrong yet. Go for the standard hook. Standard hook did not help. So 
What for food got it up to 80? Aha, the worm. So maybe it might be the shrimp. I might have been close, but I didn't go in the right direction. Because when I was the worm, that's when I was at 83%. So you gotta pay very close attention to the information at the top up up here. Really gotta pay close attention to that. Now it looks like it's kind of far out, so I'm gonna go with five to start. And I get a big fat whopping zero. Oh no, I got a sixteen. Okay, so we got a sixteen at five. So at 6, it should be 33%, which means that part is correct. Now I just got to find the hook and the bait. So double, jumped it up again. We know it's none of these, so now we can go into this. And if it's not this, it's going to be... So the crook, or the maggots made it jump, so it's going to be the cricket. So now I have every single tackle. I don't need to worry about that. All I need to worry about is getting my last big fish. Well, no, I need two more big fish, so I'm probably not actually going to get it. That's why it's kind of nice if you join a group like Fling Flesh, uh, Fling Fish, sorry, uh, because they will greatly help you out with getting your tackles down. Uh, you just got to make sure you're on the same world as the event that they're taking place in. Uh, it'll greatly help you out. I do feel bad for this person who's trying to get their last big fish. But it's kind of helping me at the same time because I know I'm not going to get it. Well, I know I'm not going to be able to get mine. So it's just kind of nice to be able to get as many fish and as much weight as I can. And hopefully maybe catch the heaviest fish. Because all three of those will actually contribute to my final score. And it looks like I was actually the fool who was waiting like a dum-dum trying to get my last big fish. <laughs> Hey, they helped me get it. Now, I didn't get the top score, but I did get a final score of 35. However, that doesn't actually mean that's how many tokens I got. I did get 21,000 XP, which this is actually a very good area for XP. I've been awarded 31 fishing tokens, which is actually very good and very fantastic, at least in my eyes. But you'll see I got all this here. It'll tell me how many tackles I got. It'll tell me my career totals for the medals. Best results is 41. So, you know, it, it gives you a little bit of information. Now, the only thing I wish is, and I'm not seeing it here, is it's not, oh, I got three medals. Okay, because right here it'll tell you the medals, the types they are. It says find a perfect tackle. The Master Angler is to find all tacklers, team players to assist each one, and a Whopper is to catch at least three big fish. So, if you're doing this, that should be your main target. This part, it's kind of nice to be the top of the chain, but you don't have to be. It's not a big deal. Because um, the main thing is actually the rewards. Now, if you take notice into my chat over here, wrong chat if you take notice of my chat right here it will save my fish flinger tickets remaining is nine so that means i have nine more attempts i can do this until the next day and then i can get more tickets because you the tickets refresh every single day and you get so many per day but you can get more while you're fishing even while you're fishing during this event Okay, so I gotta actually exit the portal. It's not letting me stay here and explain this, so I'll go back and I'll show a little bit more here. So now, you know, I have 686 points. After you get all these, which I believe are 100 to 150 each, it's up to you whether you wanna buy more tickets or if you wanna get fish. And it all depends on what your target goal is. Personally, if you're fishing, this is kind of pointless to get the fish because you're already going to be fishing. 
cooking level goes higher faster than your fishing level will. The effect is kind of nice, but again, at the same time, depending on what you're fishing, like if you're fishing the sailfish, it'd probably be a good idea. If you're rock tail, you know, that kind of stuff. But anything that's kind of lower, I really wouldn't want to use your tickets on that when you can actually save it up and, you know, keep upgrading your tackle box because that's actually an achievement. And also, the better your tackle box, the better things you can actually do with it. Because already, mine, if I open it up, I can store different tools in here, different types of gloves. I can store up to 100 raw fit. Oh, no, I can teleport up to 100 raw fish via my tackle box. I can store different types of bait in here. The only thing is the pawn broker from the player owned house kind of disables that as being overly useful. But now, if you don't have access to the fishing guild, um, you know, there's usually a fisher, fisherman right by every single location. So he's very easy to spot. Like right here he is right now. Uh, there's a minnow, minnow. So you can kind of see him pretty easily. And if you're keeping track of your time frame, it won't be too much of a big deal. But that's what I wanted to share with you guys for today for this. Uh, because that was extremely, and I mean extremely useful information, if you ask me, about to fling fish. Which is a very important thing to do. Especially if you're an Iron Man account, because it's going to help you dramatically with your total fish level. So definitely go and do it. <laughs> it looks like I just got a clue scroll, so that's going to add too. Uh, but yeah, just definitely go ahead and do these kind of things. It'll really help you out in the long run. Um, not sure what else to tell you guys, because that's pretty well it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this helps out. Hope it shows you a little bit of what you should be targeting. And as, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later guys.